Peace Corps volunteers, uh, in our batch of training, we decided to go to uh, a little lake. Oh, what's the name of it? It's close to Chichi Castanango. It's the other side. It's not Antigua. Lake, uh, fuck your mama. <laughs> Atitlan or something. I think it's Lake Atitlan is the name of it. Anyway, there, there's a big... Really Lake Blonde, you said? Yeah, it's like there's a few of those over there too, around the lake. It's a natural lake. Uh, happened some earthquake or some shit. So it's very beautiful. It's like mountain ranges around it and a big ass lake, and it's like about five thousand feet elevation. So it's not the it's not the warmest lake, you know, but it's quite big. So anyway, we went down there and we found a place to stay. We we're Peace Corps volunteers. We had no money, <laughs> so we found the cheapest place to stay. We had there was four of us. And uh, uh, we all just had sleeping bags and stuff. So we, the place had like two cots or wooden things for beds. I mean, there was like the toilets down <laughs> outside and whatever. So basically, it was just a room. And it was not, it was kind of. So this is not one of those attached. five star hotel stories. No, it was a minus no. two, I think. <laughs> 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 it was definitely negative. Okay. I think we we put our money together and there was four of us. It cost us two bucks. So it's about 50 cents a person uh, for like, it was supposed to be there like two nights or some shit. Anyway, <laughs> of course, we're young guys. We're like 20, this is still 20 years old. So of course, we went out drinking, right? So we threw our bags in and just went out and go drinking. So uh, sleeping bags. And then one of us had to keep uh, uh, Ronaldo or whatever. Uh, anyway, he had the key. So we went out and we're all drinking and drinking and local pubs there along the, the lakeside. So all Peace Corps volunteers, plus uh, all the, it's a tourist place. There's a bunch of other people come in. So we're there drinking away. And of course, I met some girls <laughs> and these girls are from California or some shit. And they're just visiting or doing some shit for a couple of days. And, you know, we're a Peace Corps. We're supposed to be there for two years, but we're still under training. So our Spanish is rough. But uh, anyway, well, we're just partying with these girls. So anyway, there was a couple of them and I was trying and my other friends were trying. And uh, so they actually... I remember they blew us off <laughs> and just went with some local guys and just disappeared. And, you know, we bought a few drinks and stuff. We were expecting, you know, some enjoyment later and uh, we were all really pissed off. So we, so we drank some more <laughs> anyway. So we got all drunk, me and my two or three friends that were with us. Uh, but the one guy, the one guy that had the key, he found some girls. And they go, hey, come on, come on. It's like, I was with the other one. And he was like, oh, see you, see you, see you. Okay, nos vemos. Hasta luego, right? And so he takes off. And then we're, well, us two or three guys, where the girls blew us off. We're all, we got totally drunk, right? <laughs> Holy shit, we got drunk. Uh, a lot of rum. Anyway, so we stagger back to the room, right? Fuck, we don't have the key. <laughs> it's like, my other friend had the key. <laughs> He took the keys with the girl. Where is he? So we uh, went out and tried to find him. Can't find him. It's like, fuck. All our stuff's inside. We don't have a key. Can we get in? You know, it's a ground floor. It's not like multi-story. It's just <laughs> ground floor hut or some shit attached to some other room. Yeah. So he kind of broke in. Uh, it, w it wasn't a window. It was like a wooden thing. <laughs> so he broke in the wooden thing because we couldn't get through the door, but we got in. So anyway, we got in. We we're getting the sleep bang and stuff. And the guy came, bam, 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 bam. I was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're breaking my door. It's like, no, it's just a window thing. You just, just got in. <laughs> Not your door, just breaking a window. <laughs> it's like, but it was a wooden. It was, it's like a wooden shutter. It was a real window. So anyway, he, he was ran around. Oh, call, the, call the police on you, the police. Okay, okay. We'll leave. We'll leave. We'll leave. Sorry. So he carried our sleeping bags and went down to the lake. So he just passed out there. Can't, uh, we just kind of passed out there. And we're asleep there. The next morning, we wake up, sleeping on the lakeside, you know, and outside, just outside of town, just at the bottom of the town. Anyway, uh, some guy threw up right by, right by me. I don't know who that the fuck. <laughs> I woke up I was like, oh, <laughs> shit, man. Somebody threw up here. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit. <laughs> I think it was me. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we got drunk. All right. So that's how we got kicked out of the hotel. But the story continues a lot. If, <laughs> 
<laughs> so okay let's do the story shit we'll, we'll edit this out as we need to so anyway walking down the beach and we kept walking and there's like a hot spring there i knew there was a hot spring so it was maybe 100 meters 200 meters down something like that there was these hot springs so i, I knew i heard they were there so so but i was so hung over and my other friends my other two friends are also very hung over but not so bad as me i was really I was already gone. So anyway, I walked down there and I saw the hot springs and I saw some girls, actually one girl. Uh, and maybe sort of But you were seeing double. The ground. Yeah, no, yeah, I was seeing, I was blurred, man. But anyway, I was laying on a rock and then there was like some trees and another rock there. And that's where the springs were. They were sitting in the springs. So the next thing I know, all the dress comes off. She was hiding behind a tree so other people wouldn't see, but it was right in my side. I was just laying across the way on this rock. I was passed out. I couldn't even move. I, she did all this kind of <laughs> naked stuff. And then she put on her, her uh, swimsuit, right, to go in the hot tub. So she had regular dress. She took all that stuff off, went naked, put on her swimsuit. And then she turned around after she put on her swimsuit and she saw me. And I just waved. <laughs> what am I? I, was, I was gone. I was just laying on this rock. So she just waved back and jumped in the hot tub. <laughs> oh shit and then my guys they kept walking down a little bit and just down that little bit farther was like a, a cliff it's, you know it's not a big cliff not like you know was, I guess Acapulco some some small cliff that went up about 30 feet or something like that and they were just, just jumping like off in, so they were about 15 feet high or something jumping off into the lake and I was like hey come come I said hell no I'm too hung over to this I would just watch this pretty girl in the hot tub for a while no no you have to come up we're going this way we're going out it's like oh shit so so the next thing i know i'm climbing up and i watch where they were jumping i say I ain't jumping i'm too fucked up for this so it's like okay let's go let's go so it kept on going up going up going up going up and i'm, I'm so hung over i just threw myself and we're actually crawling up this freaking hill right it, it's not like you can walk <laughs> no stairs or anything you're actually physically crawling up but it's like a little supposed to be like a little trail i thought Anyway, next thing I know, the guy's going up. I'm in the back, some guy's backyard. <laughs> it's like the beautiful house and the, and the grass <laughs> and stuff and a big wall where his garage kind of thing is and a big thing. And then at the end of it is a big cactus and then a kind of a straight 40 foot drop or 50 foot drop because the treetops are right there. <laughs> it's like, oh shit. And then I talk to the other guys. The other guys go, they're on the other side of the of the uh garage right okay i said how the hell did you get there oh you just gotta crawl around that cactus and just there's a little ledge you just hold on to it and go around and i looked down i was like fuck it's like 60 50 50 feet down direct so i was like huh i'm too drunk for this i threw my bag over the sleeping bag and shit over the fence over the fence over the wall whatever i said i'm gonna just call, knock on this guy's door is my maybe 8 30 in the morning it's like it's like i don't know if he's up but i ain't no 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 you can do it you can do it you can do it okay so i go to the edge i look down there's a little ledge it's about maybe foot and a half or something and it's just dirt you know somebody made a ledge out of it and the rest just straight down you know so kind of hold on this cactus it's not too spiny there at all the spines are up so i kind of hold up jump down and sneak across and at the edge of this thing, this little ledge, was a wall. You know, the road was right in front, right? It wasn't his driveway. It was like a road. So his gate was right at the road. It was a corner. It was like a corner right there. There was a wall about, I don't know, six, five feet high, something like that. Five, five, four or five feet high. It wasn't that high. Yeah, about four feet high. So going around, then the, the thing is, I put my thing here. I just jumped up to jump up on the thing. I saw two breasts right in my face. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, what the hell? There's two, two big old breasts right in the front. And this, <laughs> it's like, where I go, I look up and this Indian lady there, young one, I'm talking maybe 20 years old. I just say, hola, <laughs> buenos dias or some shit like that. Hola, buenos dias. And she just jumped about four foot back. <laughs> shit, what the hell? <laughs> She's holding this baby. It's like, it's going on a 60-foot cliff. <laughs> it's, like, 
<laughs> it's like my other guys are <laughs> cracking up laughing. This lady, and then she walked over, you know, the little Indian, I mean, young, young mother, right? Because she's carrying a baby. And she looked over the cliff and she looked at me. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> She was like, what's these gringos doing? <laughs> it's like a... <laughs> but it was just... I popped up and it was just breasts right in my face. It's like... <laughs> oh, the... So what happened is had, in, in Guatemala, they, for these uh, lactating <laughs> young mothers, they have slits in their wee peels or whatever they call the blouse or something. And they have slits so they can just open it up and, you know, so it just so happens. Your slits were open <laughs> when I popped up <laughs> over, the, over that little block. There. And she so, felt a little safe and comfortable, uh, right? There's a 60 yeah, foot cliff there. There's nothing going on here. <laughs> so yeah, but she, she was with her this. older sister or some shit. And they were up there <laughs> selling it. We're, all, we're all walking down. So this road led down to the town. Okay, so Con story continues, man. This was, I have another sip, man. <laughs> this is a little strong. Long story. Anyway. Like this, this poor vendor chick is like, oh, no, I'm selling <laughs> corn on this <laughs> and What the fuck? <laughs> so anyway, they were walking down to the town. So we walked down with them. <laughs> so we were chatting. Oh, as best we can, they spoke some sp Spanish and Indian language dialect. And then we spoke a bit of Spanish. We weren't super fluent at the time. Anyway, we walked all the way down to the town. And then we found a restaurant, a little small restaurant, cafe. So we were having breakfast there, me and my buddies. And we said goodbye to the ladies and stuff. And next thing you know, we're, uh, we're bitching about those girls that screwed around, you know, just left us. <laughs> about 10 minutes later, they show fuck up at the restaurant. <laughs> it's like, hi, hi, hi. It's like, fuck you, get away. I don't want to say hi to you. So I'm just pissed. <laughs> so they acted like big friends. It's like, hey, you stupid. <laughs> it's like, get away. I want to talk to you. So uh, it kind of just left. And then it was, <laughs> it was not a good day after that. It was like straight headaches and shit like that. But uh, that, that, was, <laughs> that was one of the things we did in Guatemala. It was a that was one of the stories. And yes, part of, part of it was getting kicked out of a dumpy hotel. <laughs> really dumpy. Sleeping on the beach. So, that's life. <laughs> so now you know. <laughs> See, wise old bastards don't always start off wise. It takes time. <laughs> it takes time. Yeah, we all start like idiots. <laughs> it takes time.